all right what's up guys it's troy d welcome back to the channel troy d 24 7 mall on point reviews all day every day today is a bodicia day all right we got a bodicia the victorious review this one here is man i i shouldn't even be calling it no hype because there's absolutely no hype on this one nobody there's not a lot of people that know about this um and I'm going to bring this to the table because I think it's really worth noting. It's worth uh, looking into, especially if you're a Bodicia collector. The next uh, review that I'm going to do today is none other than from the Ruby collection. Bodicia the Victorious. Back to Paradise. Back to Paradise, folks. From Bodicia the Victorious. This is the 100 ml bottle. And we're going to talk about this very, very interesting fragrance today that I think is perfect for this type of weather and the uh, loosening travel restrictions. All right, so here we go. Back to paradise. Let's hit the music. Okay, guys, we're back. Back to paradise. Guys, if you've never heard about Bodicia the Victorious, you know, this is one of the more, um, you can say, upscale uh, fragrances out there. That I think that the hype about this is the different price points that they have. Um, it has been reviewed by, uh, you know, a handful of really, really good reviewers. Shout outs to all of them. I'm going to link their channels below. Um, if I missed out someone, please let me know. But. You know, my favorite uh, Bodicia reviewers are Sultan Sense, who has helped me uh, really make some decisions on these Bodicias, as well as Mr. Niche Guy. Um, and there's also Scented Memories. I know he uh, collects a lot of exclusives um, and a lot of uh, Bodicias as well. Okay, so Bodicia the Victorious, Back to Paradise. Not a lot of people talking about it. Really unheard of, to be honest. Why? Because of the price point. The price point of Bodicia Back to Paradise is 580 GBP. That's probably almost 600 uh, or $700 rather. Whoa. So it's quite on the high end uh, of Bodicia. This used to be an exclusive, um, but now it's available on their website, part of the Ruby collection. And, you know, if you're like just following the hype or following what other people say about Bodicia, just like... I guess a luxury car, you know, once you get to the $700 price point, um, you have really a lot of choices. And I'm not just talking about Bodicia, I'm talking about other brands, but even within Bodicia, there are a lot of really good ones. You know, the Nemers, the Dasmans, and, and all those stuff that, you know, a lot of people are already swearing by. So that's why there's not a lot of hype on this one, because, you know, other people really prefer to buy those things. And, you know, this one right here is just, you know, unheard of but back to paradise let me just talk to you guys about it you know this one here is inspired by travel and vacations vacations to paradise basically okay um the literature talks about exotic dancers and white sand beaches right um the ultimate man's paradise i guess um if you like exotic dancers <laughs> i gotta say this guys you know bodicia back to paradise uh this really reminds me of you know those upscale vacations right uh you know i'm talking about um the you know the catalina islands if you're near in the, here in california or uh maybe uh what's that place near sri lanka oh my gosh that one was really awesome um or any type of like beach white sand vacation spot uh i think about the aman resorts uh which is really crazy you know two thousand dollars a night aman resorts um this one here is just spot on i have to say this one here is if you were gonna go to any of those luxurious vacation spots at some point one day guys this is probably the only the only scent you need even if you were spending like a week there um you wouldn't really need an sotd every single time right this thing right there provides everything you need on this luxurious vacation even if it was the only thing you had, okay? And so I'm speaking highly of this one. Uh, let's talk about the amazing notes. This thing opens with bergamot, violet, pineapple, right? And ilang-ilang, 
all right so just on the intro you guys know that this you can wear on basically any luxurious uh circumstance now i know if you guys aren't really into the luxury perfumes and you hear pineapple you're thinking of ventus but the pineapple here is probably like just you know 10 15 percent of the whole thing all right uh the violet and the ilang ilang uh, really shine as well on this one pineapple just gives it a little zinc now the pineapple really mixes with another thing that this has which is honey and when i don't know man like when when you put together the pineapple and the honey i mean it it's a very it's almost like it's fused together right it's not separate like you don't smell pineapple and honey separately you smell them at the same time as if it was some sort of uh uh, candy concoction, you know, or some sort of gourmandish concoction, or as if it was a drink, you know, uh, that, that was made together. Uh, because that's how I smell this one. The pineapple doesn't go apart. So um, there's no Aventasy like type vibes here, by the way. But the honey, oh man, honey, pineapple, violet, bergamot, ilang ilang. Now, the thing that makes this a really a vacation uh, scent are the florals the florals here are really truly amazing this is what really uh this is the main uh actor of this one you know you do have the magnolias just lovely magnolias it has uh, some rose in it um and those provide a really nice floral like push um that makes it a very vacation like uh fragrance now just a little side thing about floral fragrances right you've you've seen me talk about uh, you heard me talk about Nawab of Oud, right? Which is like a, a highly floral fragrance. There's another one that I have, which is Carnal Flowers. Uh, highly floral fragrance. But you know what? Those fragrances do not denote this upscale vacation thing. They don't really, they don't make me think about that. But this one right here, uh, the florals here provide such a fresh, breezy feel to the entire fragrance. Again, upscale. But because of the opening that i talked about because it has the bergamot the pineapple the violet um ilang ilang is is still floral but it, the honey uh when you have that together uh with the florals uh magnolia jasmine um it just provides this almost like yeah vacationy but you can wear this if you know on the cruise for example they had some sort of black tie function, you know, or they had some sort of event within the cruise or within the island, the private island that you're staying at. Um, this one would provide, uh, the, the opening would also provide that touch that doesn't make it ultimately floral, which for me, super floral fragrances are not meant to be for these occasions, okay? I would not wear ultra florals to... Um, yeah, a night function, you know, if I was in Koh Samui or if I was in uh, uh, Boracay Island, like, I, I wouldn't go wearing those. But this one right here, because of that uh, appealing opening, um, it really is perfect for the occasion. Now, the dry down is also lovely. You know, you have musk, vanilla, uh, benzoin. Uh, also amazing dry down so without a doubt that's a given the dry down here as well as the opening sort of provide that you know uh, sandwich you know it's a sandwich that perfect sandwich for those florals um, to make it a very rounded well-rounded scent for any upscale occasion preferably paradise slash vacation okay does that make sense guys this will really remind you of those good times that you spent uh on the resort you know four to seven days it's the only thing you need literally day and night any occasion even if the, it gets really like formal um you know don't bring several bottles and risk them get destroyed just bring this one put it in the box bubble wrap it and you are going to be perfect and on point for your your trip or your vacation now that also means that because of you know our current situation right now i mean this is also what a within your city limits scent right it means that this as well is a good scent for where you're at it's also a mood altering scent makes you feel good and by the way you're you, you guys are wondering about the price being so expensive well let me tell you this guys 
the performance of this is monstrous. That's the winner for me, okay? The winner for me here is the performance. Amazing, amazing, monstrous sillage, monstrous longevity. Okay, it's just really, really powerful. When I sprayed this on me, I mean, it was on me projecting all day, making me feel so good, making me feel like I'm on that vacation. Okay, so if you're going to the Catalina Islands, you're going to Atlantis, you know, this will last the whole day. This will make you feel good the whole day again amazing combination of the stuff that we already love that bergamot the violet you know that little zing of that pineapple honey and then the florals to make it feel breezy make you feel like you are in paradise and of course the amazing dry down makes it an amazing scent is it unisex it is also unisex in my opinion uh let you know if, if the femmes are trying this you know let me know what you uh, gals think uh if you go and uh try out this one but i think this is also unisex but um, even for the men, I mean, it's so playful. It's so like semi-formal. It's so upscale. Uh, definitely worth the money here for Back to Paradise. So if you've never heard about this, like, you know, if this is up your alley from what I said, uh, it's worth a bottle. Okay, that's all I got to say. And I know it's going to be tempting because you're going to want to get the same, the Nemers, and you're going to want to get the Dazmans. But, you know, just remember that those other ones are basically Rose Oud. Uh, type fragrances um, but if we're talking about like really versatile right now spring summer hot weather uh, but upscale you can't go wrong with this one I would choose this over the others if it wasn't about the hype you know what I mean if it was just on the scent and usability this one's great okay so that's it. That's my review on Back to Paradise. Guys, thank you for watching. And again, we're going to have more Bodicias. We got Hanuman. We got Consort. We got a bunch of Bodicias we haven't talked about. And again, follow those uh, reviewers that I talked to you guys about. They're all about the Bodicia as well. Very good reviewers of Bodicia. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys. I appreciate all the support you guys have given me throughout this, what, five, five and a half, six months. I appreciate you guys, uh, all the comments. Thank you so much. And uh, until then... You know, we'll review another one tomorrow. This is Troy D. Take care.